Hello everybody, Tom Coulson here. I've got a new device for you today called Flippy and this was inspired by a reply to a post I made yesterday on my Facebook saying let's have a Max MSP idea brainstorm. Uh, Justin Odegaai suggested this idea of a subtractive EQ slave device that reacts to a master. So a way to put that practically is say that you have two synth lines and you have two EQ8s, one on each. Uh, when you boost frequencies in one synth line, it subtracts the same amount of frequencies from the second one. So it's kind of like an automatic, uh, kind of uh, keeping things in the mix automatically type machine. And we discussed this a little bit and I thought a better way to do this would be to make something a bit more generic. And this is where this flippy device comes in handy. So let me just show you how it works. Uh, I'm going to load up two EQ8s on the same channel here, just on the same channel so we can see them both at the same time. Um, I'm going to map the left side of one of the flippy modules to the gain of this first EQ8 and we've also got another map button and I'm going to map that to the gain of the second EQ8 and by default it's on pole number three. Now if I bring the scaling here up to 100% and move the gain of this one up, you'll see it goes up on the second one. So we've kind of got a master slave thing. You'll also notice that it's grayed out here in the, in the gain thing now. This means it's now a complete slave to this master one. Um, where the flippy button comes in, this is cool, you hit flippy and everything reverses. So now as I bring this one up, it will bring this one down and vice versa. So let's go ahead, we've got eight of these little modules here in this batch. Let's map the frequency of both of these sides and I'll map this, this frequency to that side. I'll give it 100% but I won't turn flippy on so that just means now if I move the frequency we can move the frequency around. Now this EQ8 could be on another track, uh, another channel, it could be on the master, it could be anywhere in Ableton Live, it doesn't really matter but you know that whenever you boost or change the frequency of this EQ8 it's going to remove those frequencies from this EQ8. Now that's one example of it and that's what we discussed for its kind of main purpose on Facebook but I think there's a lot of really cool potential you could do with this. Um, the first thing that I just did just before is I've got two operators here let's listen to them. One's a square a saw, a saw wave and this one is a square wave. So I'm going to go back to my flippy here I'm going to map the saw wave to the uh, sorry the filter frequency of that saw wave operator and we'll go over here and we'll map the slave to the frequency or the cutoff frequency of the uh, square wave. Now if we go back here, make sure scaling's at 100%, turn on flippy and do we, yep that's on 100%, go over here. Now let's bring the frequency down of the uh, saw wave and see what happens. Make sure we have these both enabled. <laughs> So now this is at its lowest value, if we go look at the other one, it's at its highest value. So we've basically created a slave, master slave thing for these two uh, filter frequency cutoff points. So there you go, and there's eight of these modules. It's pretty basic, it's pretty simple at the moment. Um, you, there might be something wrong with it, I always say that at the end of my videos. If you do find something wrong with it, let me know. I'd love to see what you do with it, because I think there's a lot of lot of unique things that could be done with this. And uh, this is free, uh, go ahead, download it for free, or you can buy me a beer if you want, but you don't have to, it's free. You guys know I love giving stuff away, so just take it if you want it, just take it. Alright, cheers, Tom Cosin, later.